What is up everybody, this is your host Supersai, and welcome back to another video. Now in this video, I'm just back from doing the biggest shop, like grocery shop, that I've ever done in my life. Now I don't normally go grocery, I've never gone grocery shopping for the actual groceries or whatnot, but like, you know, <laughs> it's just like, oh that looks tasty and whatnot, but anyway, I have got back in that, and I, with it, six, I weigh 67.9, withholding this monstrously heavy, monstrously heavy, like literally, like this bag right here, it's it's heavy. I'm telling you, I am telling you, it's yeah. Anyway, uh, so it's yeah, it's yeah, and and then without it, it was fifty three point eight, and so that's like about fourteen kgs, fourteen kgs worth of groceries. So I'm gonna go through and show you what I got. Now I found the specials trolley so if you yeah so in new zealand at least i take it around the world they have this like section in that where they just have all these things this like dented tins or squished chocolate bars or whatnot and and it's normally very minor just saying and they they put it all in this trolley in there and they like massively discount it like they're half the price sometimes even like like it might have been four dollars and they'll drop it to 99 cents so sometimes it's a massive massive bargain they actually got some chocolate that used to be four dollars and for nine since the other day and that uh, yeah that's a couple of weeks back but anyway re I, I sort of I didn't realize that they had these two bins full of stuff in there I can't believe more people don't do it it's like it's so like the stuff's totally usable it's like if you get that much money if you save that much money just for getting a little dent in a tin a hundred percent like I can't believe it's that people don't just swarm around it like obviously society's demand for things that have like dents or defects is like way way lower like you know unless it was ba unless it was like basically free people would rather pay the, the full price for the the perfect product but for, i think it's 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 better for if, if i think it, yeah it's better for society if the average person was was happy at, at a lower rate so which means that the likes of me wouldn't get as good bargains because if they could sell them for just a slight bit less and people still buy them because it's just that slight bit less then that's better for society although then it's like yeah people like me that currently in the minority that buy those things then it would that that, that up it because it would always sell out anyway at cookie time, they used to have it significantly lower for the broken biscuits bits, like so bits that were broken there, and I'd always buy them. Well, I don't, I wouldn't, my my mum would, but they they were so they were significantly like cheaper now. I can't remember how much cheaper, but they're a lot cheaper just because they're broken. It's like. 100% broken ones. It's like, who cares? The flavor's the same, and you save lots of money in that. But recently, they've made it so it's much more even, so it's only a little bit of a saving. Well, not recently, like two or three years ago. They they made it so it's it's far less of a, whoa, massive save in that. But anyway, I just found that the, sort of found the full extent of the special trolley, and I'm like, let's go. Like, I, I've always just, I don't know, when I'm young, I'm always like, go to it and like, look at all these bargains, look how cheap it is in there. But now, it's like, now I could actually afford it. It's like, let's go. So anyway, let's go through what I got. Okay, now a couple, like a few of the things are not, not a couple, uh, more, uh, quite a few are things that I was just going to get anyway. The reason I went, because I'd run out of stock, it was like at night I watch movies and I eat frozen berries and then I like to have, balance it with something savory, whether that be popcorn or Pringles or, or uh, chips or chocolate cake or whatnot, but I generally don't like chocolate cake or Pringles and that because they're unhealthy. Popcorn, I buy the kernels and cook it myself, so popcorn in itself is perfectly healthy in that. It's just corn in that. It's what you add on it that makes it unhealthy in that. So there's a sort of Himalayan salt I get that's is healthier, but it's, and so anyway, I, but just, so I just have a bit of like salt with it. Anyway, let's go through. So stock up on frozen berries. So these here, uh, 1 kg, $9.50. The popcorn, at, you could get it at uh, 100 grams for 89 cents. It sounds, well, that's so cheap. It's like, yeah, that means it's $8.99 per kg in that. So there's that. And chocolate's about, chocolate's about, like, a, a dollar per 100 grams. So chocolate's about $10 per kg. Popcorn's about $10 per kg. Well, there's not $8.99 if you buy it in these bin things and you open them. It's like, like that, rather than the actual packet stuff. And then there is the, yeah, the biscuits, uh, like, the, and passion fruit is on 19 I haven't bought passion fruit in a long time. Okay, anyway, so I bought two of those, so one kg, it's the best value buy, in terms of if you get the smaller amounts, like, it's, if you get the smaller amounts, this is all New Zealand dollars, of, like, for example, 500 grams, it's normally five dollars, whereas that's nine dollars fifty for a, a litre, not a litre, you know what I mean, one kg in that. So that was what I was actually going to get. Then, some, mandarins curry sweet flavor in that so a few of them they had other varieties but i just really like the curry sweet ones so i was going for that 
And and so they were they have five dollars a kg, so that might have been like five dollars for them. Then these things here, popcorn. These here are the non-defect items and that. So I got I thought I'd bulk buy and well it doesn't no it's not bulk buying. Anyway, I thought I'd just get heaps and that. So they were five hundred grams for three dollars and that. Whereas if you've got it from the bins, they you pull this lever and they have like chaffers and all sorts of lentils and all the different things and that. Anyway, that's eight dollars ninety nine. So it's more expensive to do it that way rather than this way. So I like to do it this way and that. And this here is even cheaper than you know the ones you buy packets and that those ones of packets taste so good in that but I think uh, I think I'll, I'll stick with the healthy option okay there we go and I'm like a bit concerned I don't know I don't know it's annoying because like, there's articles online saying like it says it has this stuff and like it has like trans fat and if they don't if it's under a certain amount they don't have to declare it as trans fat I don't know but it's like how much do you believe like people like there's articles about Pringles saying it's terrible as well so I was like ah oh. I know it's 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 tricky to know okay so anyway that is basically oh, yes so there was that uh, and then also I, I don't normally do normally I just well normally I don't get chocolate but well sometimes I get chocolate maybe half the times I get chocolates in there uh, like I'll just get one packet of chocolate like and I'll be like like this right here and that. Normally I get the 95%, but recently I tried the, I have had the mint one once. Recently I tried the raspberry and I thought, oh, you know what, I'm going to try a whole heap of different flavors. Now, by the way, this is going to last me a long time. Okay, there we go. So, the, and so these are about four New Zealand dollars or whatnot. Uh, about three dollars eighty in that. So uh, I tried. So there's like this hazel flavor or whatnot, which is a new flavor. There is orange intense. So I I normally only get one. Oh wait, no, I did get three once. Okay, oh, because that one's special. Okay, I think yeah, I think that's three dollars each, or maybe two fifty. I'm not sure. Anyway, and then oh no. Okay, there we go. And then a touch of sea salt. I'm very skeptical about this, but I wanted to just try it. Okay, there we go. You'd it'd be more efficient if if there's like just a massive like. I've always thought it'd be cool if you had like a massive like food festival or, or whatnot. But like you had different food. So like rather than everyone like you know and just you just try his flavor. So let's say you there was like a f chocolate festival and and the person organizing it bought all of these bars of chocolate, put them all out, and everyone could just try them all then and there, rather than everyone having to individually buy, buy every different flavor of chocolate to just, when they only want to try like a square to see what it tastes like, but you have to buy a whole block just to see what it tastes like. So yeah, if you had like a big thing, then you could just try all the flavors and be like, oh yeah, I like that one, that one, that one, and I'll never buy all those ones again. So yeah, anyway, uh, so single origin Samoan cocoa. Now I don't normally buy Whitakers and that. They normally, they have the bigger bulk ones and that, but I don't like those, I don't like regular chocolate much. It's too sweet, I find. And even the 72% Whitakers, I, I don't like that anymore. Old Gold's alright. That's the Cadbury flavor. Okay, there we go. This here. Oh, and it's white chocolate. I don't normally white, like white chocolate, but I didn't really, because it's passion fruit in that. 98% cocoa. That's not much, but then for white chocolate, I guess it is. Anyway, that's that. Okay, so I don't normally get those, but I did this time. Uh, I always see them. I don't eat them, but yeah, that's for someone. Okay. And this here, now we get on to all of this random stuff. Oh, yeah, and I did thought, I'll try these, these biscuits and that. I don't normally buy biscuits, but these are 99 cents. And, that, and that's that, I, oh, I guess they're on special then. But anyway, blueberry flavor. It's like 99 cents. Let's go. It, it looks like a budget brand. Anyway, okie dokie. I don't think I've heard of that. Maybe they've done chocolate or whatnot. So that was one thing, 99 cents. Okay, so moving on to all these other things. Man, these are so heavy. Okay, I got these things here. Ginger beer. Ginger beer. And it's not alcoholic. There we go. And 89 cents. The problem is, you see one for sale, and you're like, that's a good bargain. But then it's like, but then isn't the next 20 of them that they have in stock bargains also? And then it's like, oh, I hate that, because it's like, well, then shouldn't I buy them all? If, if this is a bargain, then all of them are a bargain. I mean, you can't, I don't know. That gets me. It gets me. It's like, ah, uh, it, yeah. Yeah, same with these cheap computers I got. It's like, oh, yeah, the first few were, like, really cheap in that. It's like, but then so are the rest of them, you know? And so then it's like, you have to buy them all. But then again, if, if for example, they had, like, you know, a thousand of these bottles, it'd be like, well, they're on special, but I can't buy them. But I don't know, just specials. It's like saving money, lots of money. And if you plan ahead, it's like, for example, now, if, if there's heaps of these, you can just buy, if, if you really like ginger beer, you know, and normally buy these. Just buy, like, literally, assuming they don't go past the best before date, buy a year's worth of these. Buy a year's worth of them. I mean, well, assuming that, yeah, well, at, at that price, they're not that. Well, it depends how much you drink in that. Like, if you drank, like, a bottle a day, that'd be... Three hundred and sixty-five dollars in that. So, oh yeah, and by the way, all the everything I've got here was uh, just under a hundred New Zealand dollars. It's ninety something New Zealand dollars in that. But if you only drink drank one per week, I mean fifty-two dollars, and you've got 
a year's worth of supply of ginger beers and that, and you save money. I mean, I'm all about saving money. I like saving money. I love, who doesn't love saving money? Well, obviously everyone that doesn't buy the cheap items. Well, well no, not necessarily. It's not that they don't like not saving money because I mean, that's what most people, most people don't buy the cheap items. I guess just that they, they'd rather pay more and have a non-defected item in that. But if it doesn't affect the flavor or the taste and it just... I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, if it's but well, yeah, if it's if it's past the best before date, well, that's a different story. Even so, then I still think ah, probably. But uh, it's it's if it's for example, just like a, literally like a can with a dent in it. It's like, are you serious? I'll I'll take half price for that. Anyway, so I got how many of those? One, two. There we go. Because and I got all of them. <laughs> I can't just like get half of them because it's either a bargain or it's not. Anyway, three. There we go. Four. Five. Oop. There we go. And I, I'm, I won't be drinking most of these myself, by the way. I'll just think, like, yeah, just, yeah, find someone that, like, yeah, give them to my family or whatnot. Because, yeah, I, yeah. Anyway, it's just because then, then it will save them money because they won't need to buy the ginger beers or whatnot. Anyway, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, there we go. Eighty-nine cents. Eighty-nine cents. Come on, come on. There we go. And then US that I get be like fifty US cents. There we go. Uh, maybe 60 US cents. This one, uh, how many was that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There we go. And 9. One more. No, just one. Okay, there we go. 9. So we got 9 of those. There we go. Okay, that was something. We got this one here, which is a diet ginger beer. Now, I think there's a bit of value because it's got 375 mils, and this one has, it feels like less. 330 and it's, ah, more or less the same. Anyway, that's 90. Oh, so then I guess uh, 10 cents well, for an increase of 45 mils. I'll be pretty similar. Anyway, this is a different brand of it, and this is Diet Ginger Beer, and that that was all of those drinks that they had. Like, there's, heaps of, there's heaps of stuff there that I didn't get because I didn't feel that it was discounted enough for me to want to buy it. Now, obviously, other people do, otherwise it wouldn't sell, and that, but yeah, for me, it was like, mm, it, most items that were like $3 or more, even when being discounted, I'm like, no, but I see it, like, I won't buy them, generally, but unless it's like, oh, yeah, I could try it, but yeah, I'm, I think it's just a great way to try new things, like, new foods, new flavors, new different things and stuff, and it's like, normally, this is like, most of those products, like, none of them, oh, I will ginger beer, yes, but most of them are like, I'd never actually buy this in that, but then it's like, well, if it's like, literally half price, or really cheap, it's like, I think that's a great. It's a great way, place to try stuff. Like I just, I think it's it's awesome way to 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 just try stuff in that. And then I got some coconut milk, which I I, I won't be using coconut milk, but I figure someone I know will probably ever use for coconut milk. So ninety nine cents. They all have it on it. That it says was nine hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents, but that's that's a glitch. And no, it's I'm not missing the decimal point. It actually is nine 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 dot nine nine in that. But look, that's the that's it. That's wait that there. That's it. That's it. For that little, doot, that, that there, it's like, oh, wow, okay, there we go, it's a discount. You get all this money off. It's like, thank you. Now, I don't know how much these normally cost. Man, it's a psychological, isn't it? Because imagine if this was for sale for 90 cents normally. It's like, I'll be like, no, because I don't actually know how much coconut milk, I'm, I'm trusting that actually the, when it says discount, it actually is a discount. You know, and that, but I don't know how it doesn't actually say what it was. Well, it, it's not right when it says it was 999. This here, one one grand, I don't think so. Anyway, uh, yeah, so it says that on all of them that it was 999 or whatnot. And oh, no, 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 actually, some of them doesn't. Some of them has the correct price, but some of them it doesn't. And see this one here, little, little that you barely even see it. There we go, oh, like that. See, it's a little bit flat or something, and that. And it's like, oh, well, you save money. It's like, I'll take that. Yeah, okay, there we go. So we got that, we got those, okay. What else do we get? Okay, the, probably the most expensive item that I would not normally get is this shampoo. Tony and Guy. Wait, isn't there's a singer? To Tones and I. Anyway, shampoo and that. So, yes. There we go. I'll find someone. There we go. Smooth dejunction. Detinction. Detection? That word. There we go. Anyway, there's this thing. So, yeah, anyway. So, it's... Yeah. Was... Yeah, was 1849. And, and save $9.50, so save 51%, so now it's $8.99, so that's a pretty pretty good save. There was three of these, but I thought, this is more a trial thing, like, it, since it's so much cheaper than that, it's it's good, but I mean, it might, I mean, and they might be, they might be sort of fancy brands in that, which then, in which case, it doesn't, it wouldn't really work, even if it is cheap then, and it's good, if it's high price, probably not going to buy it in the future in that, but if it's cheap, it's worth, it's worth a try in that. 
And since it's, since it's cheap, it's like the same price as the regular brands. It's like, well, let's try something new that would normally be much more expensive than that. I don't e I don't even know what's wrong with it. I don't know if it's the best before date. What is this? Made in Poland. I don't I don't even know. There's three of these, but I thought I don't know if a it's actually that cheap. Well, I mean, obviously cheaper than what it normally is, but other well, this one might be an expensive one, and regular ones are just cheaper anyway. And so I, I was like, eh, I don't know if it'll be good. So I thought I'll get one. I thought I could get two, and then two different people have it, but it's like, nah. Okay, there we go. So there's that. What else is there? Oh, there is these. The I didn't I didn't I was borderline on these. These these were like, I wouldn't normally pay this much for for lollies. There we go. Two dollars fifty. For these, which were sugar-free icemans. I like the name icemans, and I thought they looked cool. They had sugar-free pear drops as well, but I was like, well, if these don't taste good, the pear drops probably wouldn't either. Anyway, that was two fifty, so that was a bit, mm, I don't know about that one. Anyway, uh, yeah, boom. Okay, there's those. Next thing. What is this? Palm-flavored sugar, that's right. palm flavor. what even is that? Anyway, it's, it's, only, it's only 99 cents, so yeah, I think, ah, sure, let's try it. Palm flavored sugar. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. Best before. Oh, May, oh, 30th of May 2020. So that's in like a week. Okay, there, anyway, there's that. They, they have so. Oh, they have so much meat there. Honestly, I feel like so much of it would. They, they wouldn't sell it fast enough. Anyway. Yeah, so then they chuck it out. So I don't know what will give it away or not. I don't know what happened, but yeah, it would seem like. I know, it seemed like a waste. I don't know, cause, but then if they had didn't have enough, people would they'd always be running out. This here, there we go. This here. This is pretty cheap. It's... I'll probably eat this one. There we go. Or, yeah, have a few of us try it. We're going to go chili and lime. So I don't really like that, but it's it's crunchy. It's organic crunchy sunflower snacks for 69 cents. So it's pretty pretty cheap for... Just, I don't know. I guess it's like, would you rather this or a ginger beer? Anyway, yeah, it's... it's yeah, that's that's that. A little bit lighter, so like, well, yeah, yeah, like as in, like, for candles. Okay, okay, there we go. So that was ninety nine cents. Boom, like that. Okay, kachow. Next item. Okay, we only got two items left. Okay, there we go. So, oh, they're both the same price. So a Mars bar, which is normally ninety nine cents anyway, for forty nine cents. And Loxy was. Nine hundred ninety-nine dollars and ninety-nine. There we go. Savings, one hundred percent. That would be oh no, that's over one hundred percent. That'd be like in the thousands of percents. Okay, there we go. So that's saving nine hundred ninety-nine dollars fifty cents. And then there is this one right here, which is Little Eclipse Mints. The small, it's a smaller tin than normal, but anyway, Kachow, That is that. Anyway, that there was my shopping. It was fun. It's actually really cool buying bargains. Wow, this is a twenty-minute video. Who would have thought? Okay, I wasn't intending to do a video on it. I was just like bought all this stuff and then I'm like. That's actually going to make a good video. And then you sort of see what the products look like in New Zealand and that. And sort of get a feel for what it's like. So, for example, that's not that clear, is it? Anyway, these are the kind of products that are in New Zealand and that. And the kind of products that Supersite buys, I guess. Okay, so anyway, I guess that's going to wrap it up. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's going to wrap it up. Just like this chocolate bar is. Okay, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, let me know in the comments. Is there stuff that you is way more expensive for you or way more cheaper than you that I showed in here? Or what's the sort of systems you guys have in terms of bargains and that? Or, yeah, anyway, that's going to wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a wonderful, beautiful rest of your day. Feel free to ask me questions about shopping in New Zealand if you want. I'm not very experienced, but yeah, I know a little bit. Anyway, see you all next time. Goodbye for now. Ka-chao.